my loves and welcome back. I hope that you are good. Uh, those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to Mystic Love Tarot. I hope that everything is rocking in your world. So today we are going to be doing, are they watching your social media? Now, I have two decks for you to pick from. When I was looking at what decks we were going to choose today, uh, ancestors were really calling in the energy. So all your loved ones, helpers, guides, people that have walked before you on this land are really calling that energy towards you today. So they wanted to work with the more ancestral decks. So this is the Arthurian Tarot. Um, and this is by John Matthews, and this is the Celtic Tarot by Christopher Hughes. He is ace, absolutely love him, can't wait to see him again in October. Um, he's just absolutely fabulous. He gave me a necklace uh, last time, a little Arwen symbol on, and he's like a head druid. He's absolutely phenomenal, love him, love him, love him. And for those of you that don't know, I am druid. So, deck number one and deck number two, and I want you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to, I want you to feel the energy. And as you feel the energy of the deck that you are pulling towards, I want you to think about your person. And as you think about that person, I want you to feel as if you're pushing the energy into the deck. So you can do it clairsentinently, feeling it. You can do it clairvoyantly, seeing it. And if you do want to see it, visualise it, um, I would ask you to focus on a kind of a, um, yes, thank you, an indigo colour for it um, from your third eye chakra because we're going very intuitively with your person today into their energy and pulling out the strongest energy between you all. So, deck number one. Now, those of you that have just tapped in, tuned in, turned on um, and, and welcome to the channel. I am doing a run throughout the whole of April for uh, children's cancer. Um, I'll link the link, link the link in the description for you. Uh, but basically, it's a fundraiser for Great Ormond Street. Um, those of you that are Peter Pan fans um, they're from the books, it all goes towards Great Ormond Street. Um, but they are making a new children's cancer ward. And as I said in the last reading, two words that shouldn't go together are the words children and cancer. So I'm running, um, albeit I hate running, but I'm running 26.2 miles. I'm running a marathon throughout the month of April. Um, so if you are interested, just go and hit donate i'd quite like to make it up to 500 quid it's on 455 at the moment you're all rock stars and thank you for your donations okay so think about your person for me and i'm just gonna get that energy yeah so i'm really sensing it on a clear sentiment level so you two have got a really really strong connection it is a spiritual connection it's a connection spirit are saying to me that has predated this lifetime and it has had many many lifetimes with your person so you might find in this lifetime you're kind of going through a little bit of karmic energy with them if you need a karmic clearing or a past life reading just give me a shout um, and we can get those done for you so let's have a look at will are they checking your social media are they watching Woo! your social media okay. you know when um the sun starts coming out in england i always my nose always starts getting a little bit sniffly so if i, I start sniffling it's because the uh, allergies are in the mist are they gonna reach out for Sorry, are they watching your social media is what I should say. Are they watching your social media or are they going to reach out? Um, I will answer, are they going to reach out? Because Spirit have kind of given me those wordings to say to you. And the answer is yes, they will reach out, um, but it's not quite yet. So the timings on them reaching out is dependent on when they're ready to watch your social media. And that's why the two energies got mixed up. Um, as a lot of you know, I'm clairaudient, which means I hear spirit um, and I channel directly from them. So from spirit, through spirit, to spirit, that's how I work. Um, and sometimes the messages, they come in so thick and fast that the energy gets all, uh, I get my words a bit twisted, which is what happened there. So... Your person, let me tell you the cards that you're interested in. Uh, ten of Wands, uh, Seven of Pence, Devil, Two of Swords, Two of Cups. Okay, those of you that are interested. So your person at this moment in time, let's work through this as if it is a story. Okay, Spirit saying, this is a storybook. That is what they're saying, it's a storybook. So where you guys are at the moment is the Ten of Wands and where you are heading is the Two of Cups, which is love. So when you're asking what they reach out, the answer is yes, they will do in the long run, it is over here. 
but where you are at the moment. So um, your person is actually kind of avoiding watching your social media right now. And that is where the 10 of wands is coming in. So they are feeling burdened by the situation. They're feeling a little bit stuck about the situation. Perhaps their actions have been a little bit arseholey um, and they're not quite sure how to make amends of that right now. We've got the mountains kind of in the background. Now, those of you that know, I can read Lenormand, Lenormand as well. Um, and when you have mountains and Lenormand, it talks about blocks, okay? So this is your person blocking the energy. So they're not looking at your social media right now. But what's going to happen is these blocks, these bricks, these building bricks with the seven of pence over here are going to start crumbling and they're going to start making progression routes towards you. Now, this is Hadrian's Wall. For those of you that don't know much about English, I think Hadrian's Walls in England, I think it's Northern England, I don't think it's Scotland, um, is the old Roman wall that was put in to guard the Romans versus the Celts, I want to say. Don't quote me on my history there, but um, that is coming up over here. So Hadrian's Wall was built across all of England and it was a block, okay? Now, when we're looking at the seven pence over here, you can see that the blocks are actually being smashed down. And Spirit are saying, just like they, they just showed me Game of Thrones and the uh, Wall of Ice, just as the ice kind of is really, really solid, when the sun comes down, it thaws and it melts. And what they're saying over this is that once your person has kind of got out of their own way, those barriers are going to close down and that is when they're gonna watch your social media. So from there, we go to uh, the devil. So this is the epitome of them watching your social media. It is a card of addiction. It is a card of watching. It is a card of temptations. It is a card of, um, you know, that passionate energy is often seen as the dark side of the lovers often seen as the dark side of the lovers. So when you're asking, are they watching your social media? Not at the moment, but they will be, okay? And that's where the addiction energy comes in. They are addicted to you. They are addicted to your personality. They are addicted to the connection between the two of you. Um, and even though they might try and stop themselves because they're like, well, this situation was left alone for a long time or for a while, depending on your individual circumstances, which is the block where the devil comes in, but, he will step aside, This they will step aside and let hear, uh, your person watch your social media, okay? So they will be they will be tempted in a two. So two weeks, two months, the second of a month, two days watching social media. And that's when we get these two cards, the two of swords and the two of the cups. So the two of swords will be the indecision over here. So they're like, I'm going to check on you. Oh, wait, should I? Shouldn't I? What do I do? And then they choose to look at you, choose to watch your social media, and that leads to the Two of Cups, which is the love card. So when they look at your social media next, they're all those emotions and feelings that they've buried under the surface and hidden with the Ten of Wands over here, um, it's going to link into their emotions for you. Now, as Lenor, like how Lenor Ma read, it goes from across, it's like a story, and as Spirit have read these in a story for you, I'm just gonna link these two together. So when they see the love, between you guys and they see those emotions, they feel those emotions again for you, um, it burdens them again. So it kind of goes back to the start and that, when that burdening comes in from the love is when they'll reach out to you. So that answers your question. So they're looking at your social media, not yet, but they will, they will. Okay, and then they'll reach out, Deck number two. Let's go. So those of you that just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I was just talking in deck number one um, about how I'm doing some runs for children's cancer this April. Um, so if you'd like to sponsor me, that would be great. I absolutely hate running. Um, so I'm kind of challenging myself. Um, and those of you that are on my Instagram, Facebook, and I posted that video um, about how my disability affects me um, and how it's, you know, this is a massive, massive thing for me. Um, so any kind of donations or support you can give would be great, even if it's like a quid or like 10p. Um, it's really, really great, but I'll link the link it in the description. I'd like to get up to 500 quid if I can. I'm on 455 at the, well, we're on 455 at the moment. Okay. Think about your person, so we're going to tap into your person's energy. Now, what's really interesting with this deck is I have shuffled it really badly um, and I have boxed it. So for those of you that don't know, box tarot means that when your cards are facing one another like this, okay? I know a lot of you read reversals and um, when you read box sets, this is just saying 
about how your energy is one side and how their energy is another. And often you can see it from how the cards shuffle. So I am, um, uh, we boxed your cards, we boxed your cards. So that might mean that you two are um, kind of different hymn sheets at this moment in time. Let's have a look. Are they watching your social media? I'm going to do what I did with deck number one and ask if they'll contact you as well, because it kind of flew out my mouth. Um, spirit channeled the energy through me to say, well, do uh, will they contact you as well? Are they watching your social media? So I just got this song, um, Only You. Looking out the window of love, it's above, it's like a story of love. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can't sing, but that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just, I've got these cards over here, but I just feel like I want to just spread them out and pull one for you, because I'd be quite interested if we get a page of swords. Um, those of you that don't know, if you rub your hands together like this and you feel the pull, um, and it's a tingle, that is your body. If it feels like a buzzing, that is your mind. Um, and if it feels like a, a, a pulling the magnet feeling, that is your spirit. Interesting thoughts for you there. I'm gonna get this one too in our box card deck. Yeah, so we haven't got a page of swords. Now, a page of swords would normally indicate an absolute yes, you're being watched 100% on social media. But what we have got over here is we have got movement heading towards new beginnings, but there's delays. So over here, staring at us right in the face, sorry, is the four of swords. So this is speaking of delays with them. Um, the two cards that I, I did over here, the mother and the hermit, major, major cards, um, but they are retreating from this situation at this moment in time. So when I ask if they're watching your social media, I do feel that they are watching your social media and I'll explain why in a second. But when it comes to contact, they're holding fire. Now, when we look why they're holding fire on contact, it's because they're feeling a little bit battered, they're feeling a little bit bruised. Um, they've been trying to move forward from the situation and get on with their life, but it hasn't been working. So, you know, it, with that song, Only You, coming up, we've got the Seven of Cups first and foremost. Now, this speaks of confusion, it speaks of chaos, um, it speaks about trying to and um, see perspective on things and um, to make the right choices and there looks to be other people being involved in this situation so this could be friends it could be family it could be potentially they're just trying to keep their options open and um, but with the song only you coming up with this card it's like no matter what they're doing with their life they can't escape from the situation and you in their mind they can't get away from it and that's what's causing confusion and that is what's causing chaos um, so with regard to social media, they are watching you right here, right now, at this point in time, they are watching your social media because they can't step away from the energy that is pulling the two of you together. And it really is, Spirit just said the word magnets, it really is that magnetic energy between the both of you. So you pull together, you push and you turn, pull, push, um, and that energy between you guys. There is roses in this. Now, roses always kind of, you've got red rose on these cards, so it symbolizes the, the emotional love between the two of you. Your emotions are absolutely steady, so it looks to be that circumstances are what has caused the situation to go the way it has. Now, your person over here, like I said, is feeling a little bit battered and bruised over it, and that is why they're not gonna reach out just yet, but they, again, they are watching your social media. They're trying to move themselves forward, but they're not doing a very good job of it. So the other cards coming up to signify delays, we have the Four of Swords, which I have placed somewhere. Where have I placed the Four of Swords? We have the Four of Swords at the top of the deck. Um, and remember, we boxed them. So again, the two of you, it's kind of that magnet energy. Um, you've got Temperance and you've got the Four of Swords. So this is all delays, 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 delays. But in delays, the Temperance coming over here, through the delays, there is also alchemy happening. So alchemy is the transformation between you guys. So you are going to be going through this where they are a wounded soldier and they're feeling really sorry for themselves, having this transformation through these delays, which then leads to messaging over here. Um, and when they've messaged you, you've got the Ace of Cups, which speaks of romantic relationships, reforming, forming and bringing in new beginnings. So overall, yes, they are watching your social media. 
then they're going to keep it very, very, very quiet. You might even notice it. You might notice that they've looked at stories or they've done, you know, if you're on Facebook, it says unknown reader or unknown person watching your stories. They are absolutely watching your social media. If you haven't got social media and you've got something like WhatsApp and it's got the times that you're on, they're doing that. Spirit are also saying to me that when they see you online, they kind of try and go online as well. They look to see if you're online so they can feel that closeness between the two of you. There feels to be a regret on their part, Spirit is saying to me, um, a regret on their part of how they have handled the situation between you guys. But because they're feeling so battered and bruised and hurt, at the moment over here that is what's causing the delays but they are watching social media and um, they will be in touch i'm trying to ask spirit for a collective timing for you and we can have a look at your individual timings on readings but spirit is saying collective timing you're looking at a six so it'll be six weeks six months june uh, the sixth of a month around those times and that is deck number two. So um, I have got spaces for video readings if you need me. Um, if you want email readings, the turnaround time for them is 24 to 48 hours. I can do them over voice now as well. It's a really, really quick turnaround and they're only 10 pounds a question. So if you want some of them, give me a shout. Um, Video readings I have got spaces for at the moment. Um, we do 15 minutes, we being me, my guys, we do 15 minutes and half an hour. Uh, psychics, we do past life readings, life purpose readings, um, and also manifesting plans. So if you want any of you to manifest your, your dreams and goals, we can do that. Um, and also, as you know, I'm a priestess, a priestess for goddess. Um, and sometimes that we're very, very lucky that they offer to use their um, energy for you to help magic happen. So we can do druid magic ceremonies. And it goes really far back to the ancient druids. And we're using the old ceremonial magic to bring into your reality what you want. But I have to get the okay from goddess for you for that to happen. I can't just say, yeah, 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 we can do it. I have to check in and they, they will tell me yes or no, but we can do that potentially for some of you guys. Um, if there are specific things like persons, contact, all that jazz, we can look at doing that. All right, darlings. Um, so yeah, go and have a look at the uh, the link for the the, uh, the the Great Ormond Street run. Um, I will keep you posted. I got a bit bollocks really because last weekend, um, I don't think I told you, last weekend I was um, woke up, well actually it started last week. I woke up and I had loads of black blobs in my eye. Um, and it lasted a few days, well, it's still lasting now, but I went to the doctors, I went to the opticians, and they said, oh, you've got a burst, you've got blood in your, in, at the back of your retina. And I was like, oh my God. Um, and they said, you need to go to hospital. So I went to hospital, hospital said, oh, you might have a tear at the back of your retina. And I was like, oh my God. They said, we might have to do laser surgery. And I was like, oh dear God, that sounds horrific. Um, and they had to go through, like talk about going through the white of your eye and welding the retina together so it doesn't do any more anyway they said i need another consultant's opinion come back so i went back on monday i know i'm recording this before i'm putting it out to you so it might be a bit delayed but i went there on monday um and i had another two consultants look at it and they decided that they actually isn't a retinal tear luckily but you know that as you're getting older because i'm turning into an old bird now i'm like 36 and gonna be 37 this year but where the jelly is at the back of your eye, um, it's come loose and that's what's causing it. But it's caused ble a bleed in the eye. Ooh, rank. But the stuff that he did, like, honestly, it was like a horror movie. He had sticks and he was like, I could see. Oh no, I don't know how squeamish you are, but I could see some inside of my eye. Um, it was really, 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 really weird. But I had bright lights. In. And those are like, I have problem. My left eye has always been a bit difficult. Uh, yeah, and now I have blobs, but it's always been a crap eye, it's a bit left lazy, but I'm also really thankful to my body that it pointed out to me that there was a problem before um, anything worse happened. Anyway, moral of the story is I'm okay to run again. So <laughs> uh, do go and drop us a donation if you can, even like the smallest amount is going to go to straight to the children's ward, um, you know, so it's absolutely phenomenal cause. So yeah. I'll speak to you guys later. Lots of love. Ciao.